Now that we move into the weathering stage, a nice quick one just to get that weathering started is good old Flurry Models Dark Dirt Wash. Right, we want to give this a good, good shake. Um, it is an easy process. You've probably seen it before, but what we're going to do is is simply we nicely sort of paint this on, like we always do, nicely in circles all over the model. I know if you've not seen this before. It's a bit scary, a bit daunting that you're going off and actually just plastering your model with a load of paint. But um, the beauty of this, this solution that we have here, it doesn't have a medium. A medium's what makes paint stick. It's not in that um, ingredients, right? And because we've got this nice glossy surface, right, it's easily cleaned up. So just blast that all the way over. I mean, if you're the kind of person who doesn't like, I don't know, say, say we've got our little corners here, you know, you might want to just sort of actually just paint where the recessed panel lines are just to maybe save you a bit of clean up in sort of the corners and stuff. Um, but really, you want to leave that for about 20 minutes to dry, and I'll let you know. And with that dried after 20 minutes, you know, what we want to do for best results is plain and simply, let's whack another coat all over the model. This just really sort of ensures that this wash goes into all the recessed panel lines, recessed rivets, to bring them out to the foreground and add some weathering. And you probably guessed it, wait 20 minutes for this to dry. So here we are now with two coats on here that's nicely dried. You do want to make sure it is properly, properly dry. I mean, just to sort of show you a little example here. I mean, this is still a little bit wet in the corner there. Um, if it's wet still, you're just probably going to pull all of it up, even out of the recessed panel lines and recessed rivets. So um, for this, it's just, a, a, you know, it's quite an easy case, a bit tedious maybe. But making a cotton uh, a kitchen paper towel nice and moist, right, in circles, we just begin to clean this up and immediately you'll start to see the effect that's going to be coming and you'll start to see how it does actually clean up rather rather well all right so here's like a quick sort of first coat going on here um, and as you can see we have got a lot of that up a little bit dirty still hopefully as you can see but all that lovely details now coming to the foreground and bringing it out so with a clean part of our kitchen paper towel what we want to do now is sort of just start cleaning it up but going in the direction of flow right the direction of airflow just so as you know if we did miss a little bit you know at least hopefully it will be going in a bit of a streak so it will add to the flavor of weathering um, what you may also want to do you know good old cotton wool buds we can sort of you know nibble on the end of these just to make a bit of a point a bit moist right and you know tricky areas like this we can sort of get in there and clean these up just to tidy them up and there's going to be a few of these little hard to reach places corners you know especially like wheel wells and stuff you know you're going to want to get these cotton wool, bull, bull, cotton wool buds out probably end up using a load don't forget to get those leading edges as well because they're going to have stuff on them um, also to, to probably note you might see actually um, these decals I mean where it's white it's really showing those um, recessed rivets but it does look like um, one or two of them haven't sort of maybe conformed as well as I would like so um, things like here we have a couple of rivets that haven't got a bit of our wash in there I'll probably just give these a little bit of a stab with our little needle in a voice just so as we can just quickly apply another coat of our wash on there and just sort of you know make sure that it's all sort of going in those places so with some decals you might have to do that um, in this case just going all over the model and we can then move along with some um, more sort of interesting weathering